reason I come is simple. Three W's. The weather, the welcome of the Cypriot people and the wine. It's nice and warm here. Just the training pitches are beautiful. Cyprus today is much more than sun, sea and sand. It is also an ideal sports destination. Dry, warm winters and 300 days a year of sunshine made Cyprus the perfect place for sports travellers. We came here from Sweden to study. And we found the good weather and excellent infrastructure. So all should come and visit Cyprus. Much of the island's success in this field results from the wide range of up-to-date sports facilities, its high-quality service industry, its temperate climate, and the comfortable travel times between city, sea, and mountains. An extensive flight network offering direct air links to most European destinations, as well as a sophisticated telecommunications infrastructure, means one is never far away from home base. Thanks to its safe and hospitable atmosphere providing ultimate peace of mind, Cyprus also offers athletes the choice of bringing their families along for an enjoyable break in the sun. Cyprus offers the sports individual, group or team a wide choice of quality hotel accommodation at affordable prices. Luxurious hotels provide fully equipped fitness centres and health spas with qualified personnel to provide the ideal setting in which to relax. Medical care is of the highest standard, combining advanced equipment and facilities with the expertise of highly skilled practitioners. Centres such as Nicosia's Ergometric are on hand to provide professional care for specific sports-related conditions and injuries. Numerous facilities all over the island offer rental of first-class sporting equipment. Many of these establishments provide service and repair facilities, so if you do bring your own equipment, you can rest assured that it's in professional hands. Most major sports are represented on the island by federations or associations who can help individuals, groups and teams with information on anything they need in Cyprus. Professional destination management companies can locate equipment, book training premises, arrange friendly matches and cater for all needs while on the island. Tens of top flight football teams from Europe and beyond train on the island every year. Climatic conditions in Cyprus are ideal for football training from early November to May with ample sunshine, minimal rain and average day temperatures ranging from 16 to 26 degrees Celsius. There are grass football fields, athletics facilities and training resources all located within a short distance of each other. The infrastructure in place can easily meet the demands of the most rigorous professional training program. <laughs> Crystal Palace trained here recently and their coach and players all left Cyprus impressed. Cyprus is top class, you know, the people around here have been brilliant, uh, the facilities they're like tremendous, the training pitches are beautiful. Uh, it's just nice, just like nice to be out here. You know, the people are very friendly. You know, the hotel's been excellent, so we really enjoyed it. It's been nice and relaxed and, and the training ground's been excellent. So yeah, it's, it's been a very, very worthwhile trip. Well-equipped indoor and outdoor athletics facilities exist throughout Cyprus, ready to cater for the needs of your training discipline. Many international sports bodies have recognised Cyprus as the ideal training destination for their athletes. And it's easy to see why the National Olympic Committees from different countries chose Cyprus as their pre-games training destination ahead of the 2004 Athens Olympics. With visitors coming to Cyprus not just to train, but also for many other aspects of their sport, local professionals have set in place facilities to cater for a range of needs. I believe this is the first press conference I've ever been to where people wear sunglasses. Luxurious hotels dot the island, offering extensive conference and meeting facilities. Cyprus is becoming an increasingly popular venue for international sports events, hosting regional and European conferences such as the 28th UEFA Ordinary Congress and the 2005 FIBA Europe Conference.
Local professional companies can create tailor-made professional and recreational packages that can be adapted to suit delegations of any size in a variety of sports. Cyprus itself is also no stranger to hosting major world-class sporting events, such as the spectacular All-Star Day. And every year, the island hosts one of the world's most prestigious motorsports events, the annual Cyprus Rally. Considered by many to be the toughest event in the FIA World Rally Championship, the Cyprus Rally sees the world's best drivers do battle on the winding gravel tracks of the Trodos Mountains. Welcome to the beautiful Mediterranean island of Cyprus for the opening event of the first ever Mountain Bike World Cup Marathon of Cyprus. The first ever Mountain Bike World Cup Marathon organized by the UCI and Cyprus Tourism Organization is a perfect example of the logistical prowess of local event organizers. Carefully organized, great fun and broadcast internationally via the Eurosport satellite channel, the event proved once again that Cyprus truly is a sports destination for all seasons. For professional or recreational mountain bikers looking to head off the beaten track, there's an abundance of hidden trails along the coast or up in the mountains, all offering something new to discover. And, thanks to the excellent secondary roads winding through spectacular local countryside, Cyprus is the perfect place for road cycling and running. With the island offering ideal conditions for so many different sports, those who compete in multi-discipline events, such as the triathlon, are especially well served. English is widely spoken in Cyprus, ensuring easy communication wherever you go. And don't hesitate to ask the friendly and hospitable locals for help, just as this triathlon team from Switzerland did. Excuse me, sir, can you please show me the direction to Petra, to Romeo? It's about four or five kilometers from here. Thank you, boys. Goodbye, mister. Bye. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you. Marathons and half marathons are very popular with local and international athletes. Often, the organizers of these competitions offer athletes and spectators the chance to enjoy a spot of outdoor cultural entertainment prior to the prize giving ceremony. It's my first time I've been, done a lot of races in Malta, in Mallorca and so on, but I like Cyprus, all the history here, and the old buildings, the old churches, the countryside, and it's nice and warm here, uh, not winter like in the Black Forest where I'm coming from, in Germany. Many of today's professional sportsmen and women will admit that they're addicted to golf, and it's a game rapidly growing in stature here in Cyprus. It attracts tourists, particularly during the winter months where it is the high season for us and where a lot of golf courses in uh, Europe are closed. We are pleased to be developing uh, more courses over the course of the next few years to be able to accommodate all those who wish to come to the new golf destination. A number of international standard 18-hole courses are now in place and many international competitions have been held, including the Volvo Open. International competitions attract many golfers who come to Cyprus time and time again. Local sportsmen have enjoyed success at a national and international level and shooting clubs can be found all over the island. The Cyprus Shooting Sports Federation provides facilities all over the island covering the trap, skeet, double trap and sporting disciplines as well as air rifle and air pistol ranges. And with the sparkling blue waters of the Mediterranean never far away, Cyprus is the perfect water sports destination summer or winter. Two, one. Crystal clear with minimal tides, the waters off Cyprus are ideal for professional and recreational sport alike.
Small wonder then that sportsmen and sportswomen head here to prepare for international competitions in swimming, sailing, windsurfing, canoeing, rowing and more. We'll be very pleased if the athletes of other European countries, even from all over the world, come over here for the winter prepares. We have all the facilities as they are in Spain and Italy. We can give them good facilities out of the water. We can give them good boats. And plans are even in place for water sports to take place further inland on the island's numerous dams. Two of the island's best-known beauty spots, the dams of Irmasoya and Bolemedia, are set to become major training grounds and competition arenas for canoeing and water skiing, as well as tranquil havens for angling. In fact, swimmers can enjoy the best of both worlds. The island boasts excellent open waters, plus a number of swimming pools, both indoor and outdoor. It's a really outstanding pool, I think one of the best in Europe. Not only the pool, but also uh, the equipment around it for timing, for uh, making video. Uh, it's, uh, it's really great. For those looking to explore beneath the surface, everything from snorkeling to wreck diving is available. After a hard day's training, whether you're a professional athlete or simply a recreational enthusiast, you'll be looking to unwind. And this Mediterranean island knows how to keep visitors entertained. Relax on one of the sandy beaches. Work off the tension playing your favorite sport. Discover the rich culture and history of Cyprus. And when the daylight fades and it's time to wind down and relax for the evening, Head for a friendly village taverna to enjoy local cuisine and traditional entertainment, or head for one of the many cultural events that take place all year round. And remember, the holiday island of Cyprus is where you should be enjoying your favorite sport. All year, every year. Cyprus, your sport, your destination.